वेलकम बैक की रोज टू द सेकेंड पार्ट ऑफ दिस चैप्टर एनिमल्स अराउंड अस आई होप यू अंडरस्टूड द फर्स्ट पार्ट वी आर गोइंग टू रिवाइज इन शॉर्ट एंड देन मूव फॉरवर्ड विद द सेकेंड पार्ट सो लेट स्टार्ट let's revise what we studied in the last part we studied about the types of animals wild animals yes animals that live in forest and are harmful are called wild animals domestic animals animals which are useful to us and we keep them in our houses they are called domestic animals what else did we study we studied about food animals eat plant eating animals or herbivores now the animals are divided according to the food they eat so the animals there are animals who are called plant eating animals they eat only plants or they are also called herbivores flesh eating animals there are animals who eat only flesh of other animals and they are called carnivores or you can also say flesh eating animals and omnivores omnivores are animals those who eat plants also and they eat flesh of other animals also they come in the category of eating both the things and so they are called omnivores Now children we are going to move further with animal movement we are going to study about their movement you must have seen that all the animals and birds do not move in a same manner they do not walk like us so we are going to learn about their movement animals move in different ways see here in the picture all the animals move in a different way like birds fly they don't walk like us they fly in the sky fish swim in the water fish does not come out on the ground saying that i'm fed up with water now let me move with other animals no it has to stay in the water and swim and some animals hop on the ground we are going to study their movement in detail Now see animals like kangaroo frog and rabbit hop around on the ground they hop they take small small jumps and move around some animals like spiders ants and lizards they crawl you must have seen see this is an ant picture of ant they crawl on the ground and walk Can you see in the picture? What is the picture? And what is the animal doing? Yes, animals like monkey and chimpanzee swing from branch to branch. They swing. How we swing? They also swing from one branch to another branch. Their tail helps them to swing. They take the help of the tail also. Some animals like earthworm. and snake do not have legs can you see this snake you must have seen earthworm also they do not have legs can you see any legs no because they do not have legs they slither on the ground you must have seen snakes moving with giving waves to the body so that is called they slither on the ground most of the birds can fly now you must have seen birds they most of the birds fly and they use their wings to fly so you know that with the help of their wings they are able to fly high but there are some birds that cannot fly yes they are birds but they cannot fly birds like penguin kiwi ostrich and emu cannot fly and children do you know the reason why they cannot fly 
because they are very heavy in weight. All the birds whose weight is little heavier, they cannot fly. Now fish is also a type of animal. But what does fish do? It swims in water with the help of its tail. All right. The tail of the fish helps them to take the turns and change the direction. Special body parts called fins. Now these are the fins of fish. Also help it to move. So the fins and with the help of the tail, the fish swims in water. Now children, let's learn about the animals making different sounds. You must have seen all the animals make different sound. They do not talk like us. Yes, in cartoons they do talk like us. But in reality, animals don't talk. They don't have language like us. Every animal has a different language. So animals make different sounds to call out to other animals. Let's see these sounds. Children, what is the picture? The picture is of a cow. And the sound cow makes is called moves. A cow moves. Would you like to hear the sound? Let's hear. A cat mews. A dog barks. A frog croaks. A lion roars. And a horse knees. Children, after the sounds of the animals, now we are going to move forward with animal babies. We are going to learn something about animal babies. Animals need a home to look after their babies and raise them. Yes, as we need a house to stay, same way animals also need their home house where they keep their babies and take care of them and make them help them to grow. Animals either give birth to babies or lay eggs. Yes, all the animals do not give birth to babies. Some lay eggs, some give birth to small babies. Almost all babies look like the parent animal. Now all the babies, they look like the parents only. And a baby of a cow will not look like a dog. It will look like a cow only. So they resemble their parents. Let's study about few baby animals. You must have studied them in lower classes also. Dogs have puppies. And puppies look very cute. Cats have kittens. And cows give birth to calves. We should not harm animals, their babies or their homes. Yes, children, we need to remember this. Many a times, we just to throw stones at the dog and just play with them like that. But we should not do that. We should not harm any animals. Neither their babies nor their homes which they have made. We should not tease or hurt them. Tease means masti karna. We should not tease the animals or hurt them anyhow. They are living beings. Yes, they are also living beings like us. They have life and feel the same as we do. That means as we feel hurt when somebody hits us, same way they also feel hurt. So we should not harm them. We should not tease them. In fact, we should be their good friends. We should take care of them. 
चलो लेट्स लर्न वन फैक्ट इन द डिड यू नो सेक्शन यस फ्रॉम द पिक्चर यू गेस इट राइट हु आर दे दे आर पैंगवेन्स we love them we like to watch them right now penguins are type of birds but they cannot fly but they can swim in the water you must not have seen other birds swimming in the water but penguins can swim in the water but they cannot fly that's all in this chapter children yes the chapter is lengthy it has some difficult words but it is an interesting chapter so please revise it once more and it will become very easy for you till then we'll meet in the next session goodbye